firstly, working in an office environment is extremely tough to stay healthy because you're not in your home, you're not in control. You have all these other people around you uh, causing a serious amount of temptation. So whether that's John who comes up to your desk at 3 p.m. and has had two biscuits, so he wants to make himself feel a little bit better, so he asks you, do you want some? Uh, so you have to be very, very strong, very good wheel pair, firstly. Um, my top tips are always eat your breakfast. You're going to be sitting at a desk all day. You're going to be doing lots of high intense stress work and eating your breakfast has proven to help with concentration, lower your stress levels, and enhance your mood. So always make sure you prep your breakfast. BYOB, bring your own lunch. Listen, be that person uh, sitting at your desk with Tupperware. Um, actually, scratch that, never eat your lunch at your desk, because you, I always try to push to people, you have to be quite mindful when you're eating. So taking your lunchbox, going sitting outside, we live in Ireland, probably raining, so go sit in the, sit in like an open space or something and have your lunch in peace and separate it from your work environment. Number three is um, dedicating time to meal prep. So unfortunately, there's no easy way around it. You have to actually dedicate some time to meal prep. I do the majority of it on the weekend. That's when we have our free time. Um, so having that little gap, you know, all it takes me now is like 10 minutes a day. So you can get it down to a fine art. There's tons of recipes I'm gonna be sharing with everyone today in the seminar for a quick breakfast and lunch options. Um, fourth would be cook once. Uh, eat three, two, three times. So when you're making a meal at the weekend, during the week, make double, make triple, and use that for lunches throughout the rest of the day. And I suppose, uh, is that four? That was four, wasn't it? Or was Okay, well, I'll give two more anyway, just, <laughs> so it could be six. <laughs> um, the, the next one is hydrate. You know, make sure you drink lots of water. A lot of times we get confused with the feeling of being thirsty as hungry. Uh, and a lot of times at 3 or 4 p.m. we get this really bad slump, we get really lethargic. And a lot of times it's just because we're not hydrated enough. And lastly, um, I think it would be have to learn to say no. You know, when your colleague comes up to you and says, oh, listen, leave your tubware, let's go out for lunch, say no. Um, you know, when he comes over and says, oh, listen, do you want these biscuits? Or, you know, you get so many deliveries all the time of lovely buns and donuts and everything. And it's learning to say no. Sometimes it's more of a waste in you than it is in the bin. Um, so, yeah, I, I have such a huge uh, empathy for people who work in offices because... I work in an office now and again with girls, and when you're around other people who might have the same mindset as you toward food, it can be really hard to have really strong willpower. And it's just about kind of achieving that balance and knowing that you'll just feel better for it.